Hello, hello. Uh, huh. huh. Seems my uh, shortcuts aren't working right now. Of course, naturally. How y'all doing? Um, I'm host Anon Jr. Welcome to Coffee Craft, and I think I got all that backwards because uh, uh, I am a little scattered yet again. But that's okay. We got this. Uh, I've been working on clearing out a little space for my base in the side of the mountain. I am almost at the point where I'm going to need to re rearrange a lot of this. I started gathering some dripstone because I thought that might make a neat little flooring. Um, no, no, I don't like that. So I need, I need to figure out what I'm going to make the floor out of so I can start collecting massive amounts of that. And I need to figure out um, just how much space I want for this next part. I've kind of got a vague idea that I'm going to remodel this door as a, some sort of 3x3 three three automatic door-ish something. Uh, I would really like, actually, I would really like to sleep. Uh, and then I'll go out there and... Um, explain assuming I don't get murdered because I've got I've got the a bad case of the early game oh uh, there is the fantastic mr. Fox that I've brought over from uh, elsewhere and I still need to go bring his friend over we might do that today too I gotta figure out why optifine is struggling so hard with some of that snow and I think it's just the powdered snow uh, I am deeply, deeply tempted to make a temporary, uh, a temporary texture pack that makes all the powdered snow yellow for no particular reason. Uh, so that way I can run around the mountain and get rid of the powdered snow and start filling it in with regular snow. And it is my objective to make sure that the terrain looks the same so you won't know that this that it, that it wasn't that we did anything that's the plan I also need to get uh, once I get the other fabulous fox I'll start making space for Sweetberry farm very similar to the one that I made in season one uh, towards the tail end of season one so I'll need to figure out a space for that uh, honestly, I, I could probably even make it smaller than we did in season one. Maybe just a 3x3 three three with one fox will do. I I don't even know if we need the foxes for other stuff, too. Maybe we just need the fantastic, uh, the fabulous Mr. Fox. No, the fantastic Mr. Fox right there. I need to find a name tag to name him that, though. Uh, and silence me. Uh, he, he screams and makes noises that uh, yeah anyway so oh yeah so I don't like this entrance at all uh, I, I do not like it Sam I am uh, I know I know uh, so I want some sort of 3x3 three three door I want it to look a little more natural to the terrain not whatever's happening right there I'm going to try to find some sort of redstone door where most of the redstone is under the ground because I don't I, I, I don't I don't want a bunch of stuff to alter the incline of the terrain any more than I already have to make that so that's on the agenda I might go Grabbing some uh, some more deep slate because I, I do I do like that and I am eighty percent sure that I want to make sure that I I, I work with um, new materials new ur materials that that's part of why I tried the the dripstone not gonna happen um, oh <laughs> I do love dripstone though I might make a little dripstone farm somewhere just just to try it um and i think it's if i remember right it's the same basic setup you just need water over the top and this has to be dripstone for that i don't think it has to be dripstone for the lava thing to work but either way I, i've been using lava as a fuel for 
uh, the smelting over here, and I gotta I gotta work a little bit on getting everything back up to par. Like if you stay on top of it, these three fill up just fast enough that you can keep that furnace going. Uh, although I did build a bigger bigger system than was strictly necessary, only because uh, if I don't feel like keeping tabs on that, I can always just shove a bunch of coal in there and call it done. I have been fortuning a lot of coal here lately. Uh, no. Yeah, so I got a few blocks and some other coal that I've been digging out as I work on this area. Once I figure out the size of the door, I think I'm going to work on this being a giant stairway down a little bit. And then something something grand hall which also means i'm going to need to move my temporary bamboo farm and <laughs> and my temporary obsidian farm I, while i've been waiting for stuff to smelt up i'll take a bucket of lava run it over here drop it in that hole obsidianify it and then go from there uh, i've got 10 right now i need two more Actually, I think I can have that right here because I do want uh, I do want to make another I want to make another portal in my base for no good reason. No, I don't know why. I so miss uh, super efficient uh, Because I'm going to have to tear this down soon enough. I miss having super efficient netherite gear. We'll get there. One step at a time. There appears to be an Arcadius joining us. Yes, there is. A quiet Arcadius. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, it's going. Do do I need to turn turn you up on my side, or is it the volume on your side? Uh, it's probably my throat. Oh. <laughs> okay. That old seasonal bug thing. Yeah. That's right, and you guys have been working on something, too. Where is that? 770 by 630. Nope, that's the wrong direction then. Negative 770, so I gotta go east. Let's hope I don't run into another pillager patrol and lose most of my stuff. That's that that's actually one of the big reasons why I want to get rid of all the powdered snow. I've nearly lost my gear once and I have completely lost my gear once because it fell into the powdered snow while I was uh, being murdered. All right, negative seven something by what? Oh, ow. By positive. Positive six hundred. Okay. I need to go kill some more sheep or get some other uh, some other food farm going. I might might have a couple of chickens. Figure out where I'm going to put a chicken cooker. I uh, feel like steak tonight. That way a little more. Yeah, that way a little more. mountain you're approaching has the purple flowers on the side of it. Yeah. Just come directly over the top of that mountain. 
Is it really the faster way? Uh, at a westerly or east, <laughs> southeast, yeah. Come on, guys. Up the hill. Am I supposed to shout parkour as I go up and down the hill? You can. I don't know if it'll actually help you. Parkour! No. I don't think it does. Hang on. Grocery shopping. And you should be well provisioned as you go over the hills and through the woods. Well, on your way back, I'll send you back with a mount at least. <laughs> uh, not until we get rid of the powdered snow. I nearly lost the fox three times trying to get him up the side of the mountain because the uh, he, he sank into some of the powdered snow. Even though I thought the foxes were not supposed to do that, or is it only the snow foxes? Snow foxes. So, not Star Fox, but Snow Fox. Yeah, yeah. Star Foxes just do barrel rolls. Ah, okay. <laughs> Kids ask your parents. And then get off my lawn. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Sirloin. I ought to name a... I ought to name a cow that. Alright. Eh. Couple more. Alright. Now let's get on to... Uh, get on to business... Acacia forests. Ah, okay. I see a giant mound of dirt. You know, this is going to feel far away right now, but I bet when we get our elytra, this is going to feel like it's right around the corner. It doesn't feel far away at all once you know where you're going. Oh. It's like a super quick run. That's the skeleton spawner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to do something with him. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> I didn't, didn't say it had to be me. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the uh, village rehab and, and castle building zone. That's what the blueprint here is. Ah. Are these the uh, deep slate bricks? Uh, I have no idea. I'm not in charge of that project or that part of the project. This is the uh, artificer's house over here. Never mind. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see you've been busy with the horses. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Trying to get some uh, top end breeds going. So. But whenever you're ready, one of those mules is yours. Ah, nice. Yeah, that, that's going to have to wait a little bit. Are we building storage here or are we building it back at the, at the mountain caldera? Or are we doing both? It seems like we're doing both. Okay. Mostly here at the moment because we've got a massive undertaking here and this is where we are <laughs> okay um the iron farm mm -hmm. is in the air right over there mm -hmm. and i think it's a watchtower we're going to turn the part around it into oh, yeah. oh, yeah. i think i don't know that for sure. that's the breeder uh-huh just my little hidey hole where I sleep. I took over the blacksmith. 
oddly enough, Meg took over the church. Brass doesn't sleep, so she didn't really take over the building. <laughs> uh, the Fletcher is in here. If by chance you need any slow arrows or anything like that. No, I need uh, the fast out. arrows because uh, I need them to actually hit before I get there. Uh, if you need anything, the box there could help you out probably. Oh, you do. Ah, nice. Need bees or anything? You probably borrow from the stuff I got medic. <laughs> nice. Uh, these are just houses I haven't tore down yet, yeah, and then you can read the sign here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and that's pretty much the only things we're showing here. Uh, though there is two things to make note of. All right. One is this ginormous thing here. Uh, it has branches all over the place. Ah. Some of them that go back under the village. One of them is the one that led to that skeleton spawner. Okay. And I have not lit up all of it. Oh. <laughs> There's just too much of it. Okay. <laughs> Had a chance to light it all up. I've already gone through four, maybe maybe five. Okay, I'm on my fifth because I'm at 31 torches yeah. right now. So I'm on my fifth stack of torches for that lighting project. Um, and this is the other thing for over here. Now, no jumping. You're gonna want to walk in. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, and it naturally formed this way? Yes. Yeah, that's all natural. Ooh. If you skirt the edge of this some, you'll I love that. that it's Yeah, I love that lake. You think. Mm -hmm. Makes you want to rethink the, uh, the mountain. Nah. <laughs> Nah. nah. I don't know. I like the look of it. I really do. There's a lot of copper down there, too. Yeah, there is. At nighttime, there's a lot of bad people. <laughs> I bet there is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to kill all of my passive mobs? They'll come back. <laughs> uh, and there's more that way. It connects uh. to that. Mm. It's, like I said, it's I, I like the lakes and waterfalls, and that's the naturally generated terrain. Yeah. Man, they, they did a wonderful job with the terrain generation updates. That That's just, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Well, and there's plenty of coal there for your uh, torch project. Yeah, really. Oh yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's the current uh, village. So, what's the giant black box in the in the air? That's the iron farm. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is uh, the iron farm, and I think. To disguise it, I think it's supposed to turn into a wizard tower or <laughs> outpost tower or some such. I don't remember what. That's actually a Monsieur Medic's project. Uh. Right now I'm just the gopher and cleanup guy and eventually I'll have to do wall duty. I don't have blueprints on where the wall's going yet, so I can't start my project yet. <laughs> I mean, I know what the wall's going to be made of, but I don't know how much of that I can disclose yet. Alright, I hear the villagers. How you do? How you do? What, are you up in the, uh... Yeah, checking out iron the iron farm. farm. 
Yeah, we're missing the the zombie. It's died like three times a game. Oh. Do I dare ask what's down this way? That, that was the old iron farm that was underground. Ah. So what was the problem with this iron farm? Um, it was half producing. The other half of the time it was spawning a golem out here. Which didn't make sense. The The private world where uh, Medic and I tested the design on, we never had that problem. So we're both stumped at what's happening. Uh, so he just went ahead and moved it up into the air. Is that 40 blocks? Is that surface 40 blocks up from where the villagers were? What? Or 20 blocks. I, I can't remember. I know that there is a distance. The, the, the golem spawning radius uh, from where the villagers are, and that includes blocks above the villagers too. So it's so many blocks up as well as out in any direction and down. Uh, you're talking to the wrong guy. <laughs> that is a medic project. That was the breeder to get the. Uh, oh, from those guys. Brain. Yeah. Notice how we uh, fed them. Yeah. <laughs> such such a humane way to do it. So is this where the trading hall is going to go, or are we going to build that back in the in the mountain? Um, both. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's really. I mean, one half dozen or another. I, I have the Fletcher here because everyone was complaining not having arrows. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Let's be honest, that's the easiest way to get arrows. <laughs> yeah. So. Are you getting ready to sleep? Oh, never mind. You did. I did. I was doing. Um, and Reyes has already designed the uh, crop farm over here. And the... Yeah, I saw that. Oh, this looks really nice. And, uh, now she's working on the the dark castle or keep or whatever that's going up on top of the hill. And that's really the only updates for this place so far. Did you find a dog? You found a dog. Yeah. Yeah, I, I usually find them when I don't have the bones on hand to tame them. Oh, I got lucky. I just found a shipwreck, and uh, I had like three bones on me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, he took all three, but it tamed him. So. Sweet. How are you doing? And that's it. Nice. Oh, hey, you want to go spelunking? Uh, I, yeah, we can do that too. I was going to try to get a little more space together for my, uh, my little base oh, in the I'm cave. Not, I'm, I'm not suggesting we do it for more than a second. I just want to show you some more of the terrain. Ah. <laughs> I think it's fascinating. Hang on. Let me, uh, pack that down a little bit tighter. All right. Uh, turn to your left. Towards the, uh, towards the iron farm? Yep. And then to your left again. Bouncing on the side of the hill. Oh. Okay. I didn't see you back there. Is this where the, uh, the lush cave is? Oh, no. Uh, oh. That's that's over in the Red Sand Desert area. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's way over. Huh. There. I, I really, I really scratched my head when I found that in the lush in the. I found. The I mean. Cave in that home. 
There, there, there are there are stranger to be ha to be found. I think somebody found a warm ocean that is in the middle of a desert. Well, I mean, I guess technically that's a warm ocean. I, I mean, sure, from a certain point of view. Oh, um... Ah! I wasn't told there was going to be uh, misadventure in this adventure. Yeah, well, you know. There we go. <laughs> Don't need a random terrain generator. Oh! Oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, guys. Why are you doing this to me? I hear you. Do I hear a slime? That is something we definitely need. Uh, slime farm. How did? Never mind. I don't want to know. Uh, I don't need. Oh, hi friends. Hi friends. Why, why did you push me closer? <laughs> Come on. Come around that corner. Going on this spelunking adventure. Ah! <laughs> that wasn't the that wasn't the point of this. I just wanted to show you the terrain generation in here. Uh huh. Oh, I, I'm seeing I'm seeing the way that the terrain is generating and evolving and changing. Ah! <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Miss Matt, I left my fortune axe back at the house. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of torches. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, shield, shield. Ah! <laughs> uh, none of my food okay. is cooked. Come on, we're going this way. Here you go. Here you go. Back over here. I, I was down to my last. <laughs> oh wait, no, that. Oh, that's not the right food. What? Oh. Where are we even going? Even. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to show you the terrain. I didn't expect you to get into a fight. <laughs> uh, we got into more than a fight there, good sir. <laughs> uh. Let me get the zombie flesh hey. off my heart bar so I don't accidentally eat that again.
So yeah. Okay. Welcome to the building project. Sure you don't want to take a, a mule with you? Uh, I'm sure I don't until we get all the powdered snow cleared off the mountain. Did you see the care package I left in your uh, your house? Yeah, I saw that. I I need to I need to find a way to better identify powdered snow than uh, sinking down into it or <laughs> or uh, uh, powdered snow has the little blue circles. Um, you say that like Optifine isn't giving me trouble with that. Well, you're the one that chooses to use Optifine. Uh, yeah, but I'm also getting much better client-side performance. Like, <laughs> that, that kind of makes it worthwhile. Uh, All right. Uh, come on. I'm going to head back anyway. Oh. Oh, here. I don't, I don't need these. Oh, the regular arrows? No, I, I have a stack of uh, bonus ones. Oh, nice. Well, eventually we're going to get the... Um... Crossbow with uh, Unbreaking 3, Piercing 3, and Quick Charge 1. <laughs> nice. No, I was thinking about the, uh, the glow arrows, because we need to get the... Uh... Probably not right yet. But as soon as I can find a quick way to the nether roof, I deeply want to get that piglin farm, that zombie pigman farm going again, like what we had in uh, season one. You know, where, where you can heal up everything in a, in a couple of minutes. And I appreciate those kind of arrows, I do. Especially when you're working in a group somewhere and <laughs> you want to tell everybody where the bad guy is. Yeah. But uh, when you're alone, there's nothing like saying, no, Mr. Bad Guy, you've got to move at 50% speed while I reload this crossbow. <laughs> at least until you get the, the rapid reload, or rapid reload, thinking of the D&D &D feat. Oh, even, that's even better. Because <laughs> then he'll never get close to me. <laughs> oh, did I not sleep before we left? Nope. Oh... <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey. I can make a pie. <laughs> or just go to a non base and throw it on the ground. Alright. I haven't done that to you in at least two seasons. Oh. Um. I didn't do it to you in Skyblock. I didn't do it to you in Season 1. I beg to differ, good sir. No, no. That wasn't me that did it to you in Skyblock. Oh, it was the one-armed man? Is that... I didn't have a direct line of sight over to, uh, <laughs> over to your base in Skyblock. I'm talking about Season 1. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't do that to you in Season 1. Season zero, yeah. Oh yeah, no, season zero. That was me all day long. Uh, <laughs> season whoa, hi friend. Uh, well, yes, you're right, Mister Creeper. I will, I will, I will take a different route home. Sorry to intrude on your space. I, I know you got those personal space issues. Is there some significance to the dirt pillar with the uh, torch lights on them? Somebody's got that lit up for a reason. I don't remember. Okay. Who or what? Oh, early game travel. I will long for when everything. Ah, hey, what was that? Oh, hi, friend. <laughs>
Yeah, I kind of wish he'd give foxes leather boots, and then they could climb up the snow. I'm actually kind of <laughs> I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into a snow fox out here anyway. Or is that only in the uh, tundra? No tag. That's what I meant. Nah, it's all good. Uh, maybe not. But... There you go. I mean, it will be once I can make my. Ah, hi, friend. I would like to do a long distance communication with you. not look at the Enderman. I'm not looking at the Enderman. Hey, and you, Mr. Goat, you can leave me alone. Have we gotten any berries off of this thing? Off of what thing? I put all these vines up in here. I haven't seen any berries grow off them. Oh, the glow berries? Yeah. I haven't seen any. Oh, and I will mention for for the record on the live stream, I finally got the Wandering Trader to start selling the mini blocks and player heads again. So now now we get all the really cool stuff from that. And uh, I've got our headhunter down here. Hi, how, how are you doing? I got headhunter and other headhunter. Headhunter will sell you the different gems and player heads for an emerald apiece, and the other headhunter will, uh... Hello. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Hello. I'm halfway to worth 30, so... Nice. Might as well. Uh, is there a box Hello. for wool yet? If you can bone meal those guys for. Oh, wait, I do have a bone. Let's try that theory. There you go. Okay. Bone meal it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll have to add that to the. Uh, Although I thought that I thought they would have grown berries on their own. They do over time. Yeah, but I mean, it's not that far away. No, no, you've got to prune it back so it drops. Right. Why, does it only give you berries when it grows another segment? I'm thinking, because there's no reason for it not to have given me a berry for as much time as I've been in and out of here. Hmm. But it will give you a berry randomly when it grows like that. How you doing? Okay. How you doing? Huh. So, I don't know if that's a legit fact, but that's <laughs> my observation of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into the mechanics for the glow berries. Probably need to go to the nether and get some uh, soul sand to turn that into a nice little elevator. <laughs> do, do you have food on you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you still got that last sweet berry I gave you. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> I don't know why I kept the gold berries. Eh. That's fine. I All right. Uh, you get really short of food, you can eat them. Yeah, there is that. I just got done bragging on how... Oh, 
That's right. That other bucket went to a bucket of water somewhere. Shoot, I hear in 1.19 they're actually going to give redstone an actual use. You're going to be able to eat it. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. That's funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although, I did see a texture pack that turned the emeralds into rubies. Oh, I thought about that for a minute. Not going to lie. Rubies or rupees? Rubies. Uh. You already call them rupees. <laughs> well, I kind of look like rupees. <laughs> I've got Oh I forgot I had some iron cooking Yeah, I, I think to get uh, industrial levels of lava, I'm going to need a lot more than just three buckets. Although, I, I say that. But it really did feel like uh, I was able to keep up with it when I was in here digging out the hole. So I, I don't know if it's one of those, like, be because uh, uh, if I were me, I would have put the leather. I can already hear Reyes making fun of me about that too. I feel so disorganized. Yeah, well, we're getting there, though. That's still early. Yeah. Should have a fair amount of space to go back. Where is... Alright, so if this is my center line, how far back do I have to go anyway? Down to 160 again. Oh yeah, okay. That's negative 10, 67. So I should have plenty of room to, to knock that back a little bit. I hear the spider. Kind of hoping he would die in the powdered snow or something, but... Probably a cave in here somewhere. Ready to go get some silk touch too so I can start collecting ice. Actually, oh no, I got 15 levels. That's going to take too long. I'm not going to do that on stream. I'll do that later. Oh. Uh, what do I want to do right now? I'll put that away for the moment. Let me grab some sticks. Some iron. I've got a few iron picks. Uh, 
Okay, so I can go about another 100-ish blocks that way. But I don't want to go that far just yet. I do want to push this back. Maybe another... what? Two, three, four, four or five. And eh, we'll go four. And then if that's not enough, I can always add more. Let's see if my lava buckets have refilled. Um, oh, I know I sent this to you. Did you see the, <laughs> did you read any more about the uh, Microsoft acquisition of uh, Activision. I didn't read it. I just saw it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it still needs to get approved, so it's not final, final. But... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> 30 billion and it might be easier to list the game studios that are not a part of Microsoft. I gotta tell you, if I'm Sony, I might be getting a little a little worried there. I'm just What? I'm worried and hopeful at the same time. <laughs> Okay, worried about... Well, Microsoft doesn't really make great games. I mean, you know. Uh, Halo called. They would like to, you know. That's different. That's different. That's a, a game. <laughs> uh, okay, well, you just said Microsoft doesn't make great games. I, I gave you a, a counter example. I said, is it really known? <laughs> uh... Anyway. Yeah, I'll meet you part of the way there. Although, let's be honest, Blizzard hasn't exactly been on a roll right now either. No, no, and that's where I was actually going to go next. Is okay. Blizzard slash Activision, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. They have some great IPs, but they have been stagnant and not really using them to their full effect for... Let's be. Let's face it. They haven't had an original idea in two decades. Uh, let, let's. Who who has had an original IP in the last couple decades? Because I I love Halo, and the new Halo really does look good. But Halo's been around since Vista, XP. One. Yeah, Xbox. <laughs> like before, there was anything else other than Xbox. Uh, <laughs> it's not exactly. Yeah, I almost said Xbox One, and I was like, "No, that's not the title." No, there no. is an Xbox One. Because there is an Xbox. That. Yeah, I know. Because that's not confusing. <laughs> I, I also kind of love that uh, Paul Throt and Brad Sams were going through it, and they were trying to figure it out. Like you know. That's that's like a Yahoo and a half, or or an, two Instagrams, or <laughs> and somebody else. I think it was Brad Sam's goes. You 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 know the uh, the the head honcho over at Sony was calling up EA, going, "Hey, how you doing? I am uh, free if you want to talk later. You know." <laughs> We has money. We will pay. Because <laughs> uh, the number of game studios is is rapidly dwindling. Yeah, but honestly, I think that's a decent thing. Yeah, I, I don't don't hear what because I'm not saying. I'm not. Uh, it was getting harder and harder for these studios to put out worthwhile content. And again, like, Blizzard isn't exactly looking the best, both in terms of content and in terms of workplace, etc. Well, yeah. They, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mismanagement is an understatement. Yeah. 
So I mean, when, when getting bought by my <laughs> when getting bought by Microsoft is a is a good thing. Um, yeah. Well, that's not even what I'm talking about when I when I say that I think it's a good thing that the bigger corporations are consolidating down. I think that that opens up for uh, the smaller corporations to come in the the for lack of a better term, the mom and pop, the the boys in the garages, the the one off devs. Um, who... Oh, they've always they've always been there because you you figure um, Alta Four, which I featured for a little bit there, is, is one that finally it, it they finally hit version one. I've been meaning to do another couple of live streams with that and try that out as a full fledged story mode. And see how that goes, but I mean, uh, there, there have been enough games that were um, that kind of small dev. I think the people that are, re and there's always going to be a place for that. I think the real, the real interesting part is going to be what happens to those mid tier groups, like. How is Valve going to fit into all this before too long? Because they're not—they're not one of the big guys. Like they're—they're they're not. I was going to say Bethesda, but they got by, uh, by Microsoft too. Uh, you know, Valve isn't one of the big guys, but they're not a small mom and pop either. So, you know where. I didn't even know they were still around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in no small part because they run Steam. Remember, oh. Ste Steam originally started as a platform for uh, Half-Life. Half-Life? Ah. Yeah, that was, that was a while ago. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. So it, it was there to manage Half-Life and a couple other Valve games. And that was the that was the main draw. Well, I need to grab a drink because uh, this cold is kicking my butt. My mouth's dry. Uh, Sahara Desert. Uh, <laughs> if you feel the sudden urge to uh, to put a pot of tea on, that uh, uh, that sounds like it could definitely be a thing. Yes, I know this is coffee craft and not tea craft, but uh. Man, th this is the <laughs> it cold over here. Th this this is the kind of weather that you go do. It, you go grab a nice. You, you embrace your inner Brit and uh, grab you a nice cup of tea. Well, I say all that because while I'm gone, mm -hmm. if uh, Mister Medic wants to weigh in on his thoughts about uh, game companies, ah. Yeah, I saw a medic log in. You really want me to say that? Why? Because I know what he's specifically talking about. Before you go, Arcadius, uh, where's no, my no. rails? <laughs> like, I know you're going to go do something very important, like make a pot of tea, because, you know, everybody everybody's cold and a little under the weather. But uh, where's my rails? Like, for serious. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the box right outside the uh, fishing hut. And no, I'm not speaking about World of Warcraft right now. I'm talking about your feelings on uh, the topic at hand, how you feel about the major dev companies consolidating. consolidating and what that means for smaller companies and whatnot. Well, you know, my personal opinion is I don't think the small companies have anything to worry about. Uh, there are a lot of games coming out that are developed by very small companies that are doing a lot better than these big companies. And I, I think the, uh, the issue... The, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. think the uh, thing to be the, the most worried about uh, from a gamer standpoint is these small companies... You know, jumping on the ooh, uh, you know, Microsoft wants to offer us five billion dollars for our little three-man crew. Sure, 
Yeah, but not not everybody's a Mojang either. I mean, Mojang wasn't that big when Microsoft acquired them, but they they had a game that was worth worth acquiring company for. And I'm not talking about a Hytale. No, no, but there is there is that that legitimate fear that these really good company or really good small companies are going to sell out because I, I'm sorry, you know, if I'm Mr. Medic here and I'm making, you know, $25,000 a year, uh, in, in oh, my I spare you'd time, left. <laughs> in, in my spare time, I am, uh, you know, making a game in like two years from now, uh, Microsoft says, hey, we want to give you, uh, you know, $2 billion for your game. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'll I'll take that $2 billion and I'll go make something else. But the problem is that at that point in time, um, most of the people who already love that game is now stuck with the big corporation ruining it. Uh, depends depends on how they handle it, though, because so far, Microsoft's been a pretty good steward of the intellectual properties that they've picked up. Uh, now, that could always change. Don't, don't hear what I'm not saying. But so far, they've done a pretty decent job of, of managing that. Well, and, you know, you always have those, you have those one or two companies that are like that, but I'm more worried about like the Activisions of the world going out and going, hey, we have uh, no idea how, um, but we have, we have absolutely no idea how a, uh, except Activision uh, and Blizzard had already merged. I can't remember who bought who, but so this, this brings Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Candy Crush, uh, and all all those big Blizzard Activision titles into the Microsoft fold. Uh, Throt, Throt commented that maybe maybe Xbox will finally get Call of Duty in a reasonable amount of time now. Yes, what what I'm saying <laughs> is, you know, that the what what had started happening is you had companies like Blizzard that would sell out to these huge companies like Activision mm -hmm. and then Activision ah, just okay. and ruins it. Yeah. Okay. Now now I'm tracking. So uh nothing but up for EA though, right? I mean who uh, who, who who's go who's going to buy out the EA loot box? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. EA's another one. Because uh, EA is one of the few, the few remaining on the field right now, if I re if I remember right. Oh, well, I have my my feelings about EA as well. Oh yeah. Uh, so. I, I think a lot of people have their feelings about EA right now, and if you buy their limited edition loot box, they'll tell you. Pretty much. <laughs> but, you know, as far as my feelings go towards, you know, the big guys versus the small guys, you know, I, I hope, I hope that, I mean, um, you know, the, the, the big guys don't do enough damage to the small guys. Yeah, I I don't think the little the little two three person garage projects have anything to worry about at this particular juncture. There's way too many places for them to publish, and Microsoft and Steam and the EA Store they're all more than willing to to host it. Uh, and even and if nothing else, I'm sure Grand Old Games will do it too, just because just to be that that spot that anybody can go to. Um, I guess my, my main concern right now is for the mid-tier players who aren't 
streamlined enough, like the smaller studios, the two, three person studios to, to manage whatever profits they get. And they don't have the backing of the big studios. You know, they don't have the, <laughs> they don't have Microsoft office backing the next, uh, Skyrim. Oh, sorry. I, I just had a momentary, uh, you know, yeah, your, your quest involving a Mac, uh, uh, Excel macro or something. And that kind of scared me. Uh, <clears throat> but, I mean, we've seen this consolidation in the gaming market before. And, you know, it always expands and contracts over time, just depending on what's going on. So right now we're in a contraction phase. Uh, everything's consolidating down to a few studios. And eventually somebody will somebody'll start building a new one, a bigger one. Uh, they'll have to find the right game. You know that that is part of the problem. As, you know, kind of, kind of to the point Arcadius was getting at earlier. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen a proper new property that has something, a new twist on gameplay, or a better story, or better yet, both of those things. And uh. Microsoft and Amazon are the two companies that so far have done a really good job of taking businesses that they acquire and going, hey, look, you were doing good already. We think you can be doing better. Uh, here's, here's somebody who will help you figure out how to execute, and here's the money to make it happen. Go forth and, and be ten times better. There's some gravel up there. Um, and as long as as long as Microsoft can continue doing that, that will be the trick: is is making sure that they don't uh, that that they don't get a little too a little too set with their past successes and start intervening more actively. I guess is what I'm trying to get at, maybe. I'll let you know as soon as I get a get a little more caffeine or something. Did that make any sense at all? <laughs> I, I know what you, I know what you're saying. Um, you know, like like I said, for me, it's more. I don't think the. I think the 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 current. Uh, awesome games out there uh, that are mainstream, the, the mainstream games. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones you're going to have to worry about, you know, like World of Warcraft. You know, did Microsoft take it over and become a good thing? I certainly hope so. Uh, um, it's definitely got a lot of potential to be a good thing. Yes. And, and I, I very much hope so. Uh, World of Warcraft was my first huge gaming love. Um, and it sucks that I refuse to play it now, but yeah. maybe in the future, you know, Microsoft can turn it around to the point where I'm like, okay, you know, it's obviously <laughs> these guys care and are trying to fix the, the problem here. Yeah. But on the flip side of that, you know, you, you don't have, I don't think the small guys, the, the ones like Stardew Valley, um, Seven Days to Die, the Fun Pimps, um, you know, even the group that's doing Stellaris, I, I don't, uh, Paradox, I think Par you know, Par Paradox is pretty big, but they, they have a dedicated group that's doing Stellaris, and, you know, I don't, I don't think we have to worry about those particular games, it, it's going to be these huge AAA titles like the Call of Duties, Overwatch, Diablo, World of Warcraft, you know, it could yeah. be a great thing that, but Microsoft is also not stupid. You know, they're going to, they, they just bought a package deal and now they can piecemeal that out. Let's say they don't want Call of Duty no more. They're just like, um, you know what? We bought this package deal, but we'll sell you Call of Duty for 30 billion. <laughs> uh... you know, next thing you know, Call of Duty goes over to, to, you know, some other game studio. Or World of Warcraft. They sell World of Warcraft all because of how 
as 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 much as I would like to acknowledge that uh, as a possibility, and, and it is a possibility. I I don't know, man. Like like all those titles still have a lot of life left in them. Well, it, it you know it's you, you got to really screw up that purchase to uh, to to make that one not work. I mean, I, I, I've seen Microsoft screw up some really sure deals, so don't, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not, you know, past them, but. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that they can't screw it up. What I'm saying is, is, um, I, th I, I like the fact that Microsoft bought Blizzard. Yeah. And I, I, I refuse to call it Activision Blizzard, <laughs> you know, because Activision is its own company. I'm sorry. I'm not going to call, uh, no, you know, Burger King don't buy out Wendy's and you call it the Burger King Wendy's. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, so. that, that, that's an interesting, uh, uh, that's an interesting way of putting that one. Well, I'm just saying, you know, I, I can't stand personally myself. I cannot stand Activision, so I'm not even going to give them, you know, that credit. Um, but okay, you know, the the with with first thing I would do if I was Microsoft to say, yeah, this is no longer Activision Blizzard. This is Microsoft. Get out of here. <laughs> You know, and then the second thing I'd do is go, okay, anybody that had any type of power whatsoever within this company, you're gone. We're replacing you with our own people. <laughs> we, we've seen how you handle power. Uh, no. And then once they replace those people, then I would say, okay, guys, you know what this was. You know what it can be. Make it great again. Make it so. There you go. You know, and I would reach out to to you. Know, I mean, the world now is built around YouTube and Twitch. You know, streamers and and which uh, has historically creators. not been Microsoft's strong point because they had they had Mixer, which didn't quite. I, now, to be fair, I don't. I don't think they gave it as much time as it needed to be a force in the streaming marketplace. But uh, they had Mixer, and that that didn't go so well. Uh, they had something else before that that it also didn't oh, didn't quite work. Slept. Huh? Oh, did I not I need to, or should I not I have? Like, no, I didn't expect you to sleep. I'm out here trying to catch a zombie. Oh, well, you should have said something, and then I wouldn't have slept. I, I, I wasn't expecting you to sleep because you didn't sleep last time. Oh, yeah, because I didn't. I was. I wasn't about to go to the other side of the mountain to start making some spruce trees. That's okay. I guess I don't even need to go to the other side of the mountain. I just need to go. Here, I'll be good. But you know what? What, what I'm what I'm saying is, um, when it comes to you know the the gaming industry being pretty much dominated by streamers and, and content creators on YouTube. Uh, if I was Microsoft, I, you know, I, I would go out and say, okay, the, these guys, uh, I, I'll use Asmongold as an example. Okay. Not a lot of people. I mean, there are a lot, a lot of people that love Asmongold. There are a lot of people that hate them. You, there's no in between. You either love them or you hate them. But I will say one thing about Asmongold is the man knows World of Warcraft. The man knows what would make that game great. Okay, so you're talking about tur not turning to the streamers, not for, not for the streaming part, but for game consultation. What can we do to make this amazing again? Eh, and that's exactly what I would do. You got to find the right ones, though. I, I got to tell you, one of there have been there have been a a number of Minecrafters that have really irked me lately because 
instead of providing constructive feedback about some of the changes, it's just been, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to do that? It was fine the way it was. And for stuff that it actually wasn't. It truly was not fine the way it was. But, uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to try to stay away from the specifics just because. But, uh, so, so yeah, on, on the one hand, there, like, there's a lot of good ideas out there for, for rebuilding a property or keeping it fresh. Uh, on the other hand, there's also a lot of people who will happily tell you that it's fine the way it is. And maybe for them, it is, or they don't, they don't, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but as far as World of Warcraft goes, there isn't a streamer out there that has streamed that game for years that will tell you it's fine the way it is. Really? No. I, is it the whole microtransaction thing, or is it, uh... It's not even just the microtransaction thing. I mean, it's it, it's a lot of stuff. Game mechanics. Um, what? I mean, it's just what what changed so, what changed with the game mechanics that that made it. Oh, ooh, uh -oh. that was not good. I almost died. Wow. <laughs> I, I was like, what did I say? Yeah, <laughs> I just... <laughs> um, no, so, you know, the, the microtransactions suck if it's play to win. But when you're, when you're talking about, um, you yeah. know, cosmetics... Skins cosmetics, and mounts and things like that, I, I never had a problem with that part of it. Yeah, the, uh, the, the problem comes in when you have the exact exact same stuff every expansion it just has a pretty new skin on it uh so it's not an actual expansion or change it's just uh <laughs> a new a new skin on uh <laughs> the last update <laughs> exactly you know it's you know hey <laughs> i was uh, really trying not expansion. to go there but yeah <laughs> In, in this expansion, you know, we're going to have you um, spending a vast majority of your time doing these arbitrarily or arbitrary missions that don't matter for anything just to keep you busy in game. And then, oh. you know, but, but it's, but it's, it's, uh, it's around dragons. Okay. And then the next expansion comes out and goes, oh, but we've revamped everything. Now we're going to have you do the exact same thing. The same 10 the fetch exact quests. same amount of time and everything. But this time it's not dragons, it's flying hogs. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's... And now, and and now we got the same 10 fetch quests for you. But this time it's for dragon hawks. Yes. Yes. And, you know, the... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. But if you call in the next ten minutes, it's gnomish helicopters. And <laughs> if, you, if you'll if you kindly donate 50 bucks to us in the in-game store, we'll give you a digital bamboo steamer. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I was I was trying to figure out where where the issue was because you mentioned game mechanics and I was like, so so what changed well, with the mechanics and? Well, that when I say game mechanics, it, you know, I'm not I'm not a hardcore gamer. I'm not one of those ones that go out there and say, you know, if you press this button and th or these series of yeah. buttons and in this pattern, then you're going to get the most out of your DPS and. You know, I, when I refer to game mechanics, I'm talking about the things that I have to do in game to have fun. Okay. And yeah, I and again, because you know, I was a programmer. I tend to think of it in terms of the programming end of the mechanics too. So there is that part as well, for me at least. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just referring to you know when I play a game like New World. I, I, I was gonna I was gonna come come at that one next and 
There was some big information about New World that I was trying to remember to ask you about when it came out, but for the life of me, I, I've forgotten what it was. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, when, when New World came out, I, I, I was like, finally, a game that will make me feel like I'm back to playing World of Warcraft in the early days. Because it was different enough, or because the story was different enough, like, and, and I guess that's that's part of what I'm trying to suss out. Like, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, or sorry, the Old Republic, um, mm -hmm. didn't have new mechanics per se, at least as far as I could tell, but it had a fresh story, a fresh feeling. It wasn't the same eight fetch quests just on a new planet. Although there was a little bit of that kind of stuff, but it felt new until the, the A team moved on to another project. And it was quite clear when the A team moved on to another project. Um, so, it, what, what was it about New World? What was it the the... The actual play mechanics, was it? No, play mechanics were different than play mechanics of World of Warcraft. Uh, it was the simple fact of, of being able to create a character and then choose what you're going to do with that character and then work towards getting the things you want for that character. I mean, you know, the whole MMORPG thing in general you know stuff like uh, fallout and mm -hmm. um uh skyrim you know i love that genre how, how uh, is elder well, scrolls online doing i have no idea i've never played elder scrolls online huh. all right anyway sorry uh random thought was random no you know i just um It's hard to explain. I mean, you've all everybody has that first game whoa, that whoa. they played. Uh, oh, uh, where did he come from? I I don't. I think it, he's gonna be jumping up on you. Why get out from my tree? My tree, my tree. No, bad creeper. It's like almost <laughs> six o'clock. <in> <laughs> Where did he come from? I, I don't I don't know. He can go back to where he came from though. <laughs> Here I am trying to mind my own business. I'm on top of the world. This goat's probably gonna be a jerk and knock me off the mountain. Oh wait, um, that's right, not sleeping because you need uh you need a Zambi. Zambi. Are you gonna name him the Great Zamboni? Nope, I've already got his name picked out. If uh -oh. uh, I can get him up there, I'm not gonna put a name tag on until I get him up there this time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've done I've done that a couple times before too. Dude, Arcadius, you just about got an arrow in the head, dude. <laughs> Uh, for me, with New World, it was... It was shiny. The hype was real. And when it launched... The... Delay to play was... Something they should have learned from. Um, like, that shouldn't have happened. Not to the extent they had it. But not only that, once you actually got into game, what looked like a beautiful storyline and everything else turned out to be extremely shallow. And, and apparently, uh. I'm fighting with a zombie. I'm... Yeah. So, uh, no, I was going to say, and apparently they had some other game 
game mechanic issues where uh, people have figured out uh, all, all sorts of naughty ways to play with the code that nobody had intended. Well, that's because, in my opinion, I don't think the game was ready to come out. I think it could uh, used a couple more beta tests. I think it needed some work. But not only that, it needed some more writers. Um, because, yeah, the story, while well, it started off amazing, it was legit. It, it, legitimately, it was just not there. You had a beautiful start. You had, like, chapter one of a story, and then you had a couple of sentences here and there, and that was it. Oh, so so it's novel. like that term term paper that you uh that you kind of rush to finish, and then it's like all of a sudden, oh oh yeah, that's due today, isn't it? I mean, I have no idea what that would be like. He's in the cart. Oh, why can't I put? Okay, never mind. Hold on. No, no, <laughs> no. There you go. No. You got it? I got it. Sleep? Sleepy? No, 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 don't sleep no, yet. No, don't sleepy. Don't sleep. <laughs> sleepy. No, don't sleepy. <laughs> All right. Say the word. No, 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 no. I didn't say I was going to. I said say the word. <laughs> Operating. There we go. All right, got them pushed in there. Uh, Arcadius, if you would, before I bust him out, will you please bust out that frame or that um that track in that the uh, dirt? Just the first one. Yep. Okay. There's that. There's that. Okay. No way for anything to spawn in here. No, okay, good. Bust off. That, there we go. Awesome. And you get that. Uh, go ahead and take down all of the carts, or all the, the dirt, please. Let me know when you get down to the bottom. having all this glowy stuff around them. All this glowy stuff? Yeah, our villagers have like green stars all over all around them. And they're not sleeping. I'll be right there to consult. <laughs> oh. Uh. Can I sleep before making said truck? <laughs> uh, yeah. Go ahead. Because I'm not about so, to go over the mountains and through the woods, uh. <laughs> in the middle of the night. 
Not with a nearly dead shield and other gear. Alright, now all the green stuff just disappeared from them. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh, was it them trying to pathfind to a bed? No. No, because they got they have beds. All right, I hear a cave have we in here somewhere. Broken their original beds? No. Where were their original beds? Did you get them out of the? Uh, place over here, the rest building. Nope, I got them out of the bottom, uh, where I had them at. Ooh. And I broke the original. Well, actually, I take it back. I did break the original bits because that's where I got it from. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. At least I got more than four lamb chops this time. I have 15. <laughs> uh, Arcadius. Yes. Uh, you know... Never mind. Oh, okay. Our, uh, this beehive one that you're currently using to harvest from? in the world is available for whatever. I've silk touch picked up all the beehives that uh Ah. Okay. Oh, I need to check and see if the beehive lore data packs but working. Um cuz it should when you hover over the beehive, it should tell you if there's bees in there or not. Yeah. And it also tells you what level the honey's at. Okay, good. You can uh, open the box Ooh. over here, and you can uh, hover over some of the beehives we have and check yourself. Uh, no, I can kill the creeper before bad things happen. Right here, this one up here. Yeah. No, I was headed there. Uh, I I just had a guest that was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So that is working. Never mind, I guess I can't go up there and help you. Why? The uh, dirt path up is uh, no longer there? No, but the... Ah. Into the door. There you go. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm not sure why. Hello. How are you doing? But for some reason, this is not working anymore. How are you doing? Oh, maybe if I get rid of that. Um. How are you doing? Hello? Yeah, I did break line of sight. How are you doing? How are you doing? To try to reset it, but it was working just fine. Hello? There, break, break line of sight. Yeah. Maybe I have to wait until they sleep, because they weren't sleeping last time. They just had these little green stars around them. Yeah, because they, they do eventually need to get some sleep at cer at a certain point. I if you have looked at the previous couple of iron farms, you'll notice there were all ways to periodically break line of sight.
Alright, so... They sh... Okay. I'd also put, um... Buttons down on where we're standing as well. And back there. That's bottom slabs. That's bottom slabs. Okay. Oh, okay. No, you're right. You're right. This one, this was working just fine the other day, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, the zombie just disappears and it quit working. And then this is the first time I've been able to get another zombie back up here. Uh, I'd feel much better if you pick something up. dispense a hat on it? <laughs> Maybe. Um, I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I, I'm willing to try it, but I, I want to say it's one of those things that uh, they'll either do or they won't. <laughs> do or do not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you didn't pick up the leather one, you won't pick up the iron one. It's one of those things that they'll either... No, he's making... He, he should be making eye contact. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. The, the, the helmet was more to double up on the not despawning thing. Because uh, any zombie with a helmet... Huh? The, the other guy had, uh, he was in full gold armor. Mm -hmm. um, he had a name tag and he was holding a piece of rotten flesh. Hmm. Well, the, yeah. Because uh, holding something or wearing a helmet, not necessarily spawning it in, but being given a helmet and then wearing that should have been enough on its own. Do you have any wood on this? Yeah. What you need? I, I'm thinking I'm going to put some buttons down there and leave this open so he can walk around. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know, because the... The, there, the dude that I used in... Um, season uh the last season and the season before that last season's guy was in a was in a uh minecart the whole time and before that he was in a cauldron all right back out all right And we may need to let them sleep a night too. Or at least attempt to sleep. So when nighttime comes, nobody nobody sleep and uh Yeah. I got it blocked off, so we'll see if uh let's see if they'll go to sleep. Or they they need to at least make an attempt to sleep. And, and I'm wondering if they weren't even making the attempt to sleep. Uh, I wonder if they're not connected to those beds. Well, they're the, they were sleeping in them just fine before. Yeah, villagers are dumb. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, bust it up and put them back down, though. Uh, there's four villagers and three beds over there, or do you have four beds? No, I've got three villagers and three beds. Uh, 
Ah, the green stuff's starting again. Um, I think that's them trying to path to a bed. And they're all fight they're probably all fighting over the same beds. I bet if you took one of those four villagers out, so there's only three in there. There is only three. In there's there. only three. I thought there was four in there. <laughs> oh, I see. I uh, block, I, block that door. Oh, block do. that door, please. Yeah. I I see how uh, <laughs> I see how there's only three in there now. <laughs> I see how this goes. All right. How you do? There's two. And drop that third one down, and now they they've actually attached themselves to a bed. So once you uh, break line of sight, or give them line of sight with the zombie again, because that's all they need is they just need to lay down and claim the bed. There, there we he go. Is. Yay! All right. Okay. Is the top of this oh. building spawn-proofed? Yes. Top of it is lower slabs. Okay. Yeah, that that was them trying to trying to path to the bed. Sometimes, sometimes they I don't know. Villagers are dumb, man. Villagers <laughs> 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 are stupid. <laughs> You're just not right, man. All right, I am going to sit up here for a little bit and <laughs> make sure it still it, it stays working. <laughs> let and, the uh, let the iron right. <laughs> the iron must flow. <laughs> yep, take everything out. There we go. So there's nothing going on, and I will be back. All right. Uh, is there something actually? Oh. Okay, so there is something down there. Trouble shot. Problem solved. And I forgot to bring my emeralds. Oh well. Come here, mutton chops. Some here. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 get some. This is sky block, man. Come on. 
And also, I'm already halfway back. <laughs> well, what did you need? Uh, I was going to nab a couple of mending books, but I'll do that later. Don't worry about it. I, I also need to get the gear to make it worthwhile putting it, putting it on. Although, mending leather boots would be really nice with all this uh, until we get the powdered snow squared away. Mending leather boots. <laughs> uh-huh. I've thought about it, I ain't gonna lie, but I was gonna waste it on leather gear. Uh, isn't, isn't that what we got the, uh, isn't that what villagers are for? Trading for stuff like that? That's still expensive. Uh, about to have enough iron, now that Medic's got the iron farm working again, we're about to have enough iron to trade for emeralds anyway. We just need a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of armor smiths and weapon smiths and tool smiths, which we're gonna want anyway, because then we can buy our diamond armor and we don't have to go hunting for diamonds. That's oh oh no no never mind I'm not going spurlunking there. I mean, I do think I want to go get some deep slate. Well, go down that uh, staircase inside the little hole I made <laughs> in the mountain. Where the snowman is. Trust me, there's <laughs> deep slate down there. That much, huh? Oh, uh, it just it's deep. Well, yes, the deep slate is deep. Mm -hmm. I meant the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the philosophical discussion of game studios. Useless, but that was not. See, I don't. I don't even know what I want to make the floor out of. I'm thinking deep slate. Although I wonder if I get enough tuft. No, not yeah, tuft. Because tuft is supposed to show up like the other fancy blocks and veins. Uh oh! No 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 no! No powdered snow. I swear, I, I am going to make a texture that turns all the powdered snow a slate yellowish color to let you know not to uh, not to step there. <laughs> yeah, ju just enough to know that you might not want to walk there. You are obviously not growing. I don't know why, though. Is it... Is it because of that block there? No. Just time. You weren't there. You were way over here. Uh, no. I planted that, like, while I was digging out the initial hole under here. And it's been sitting there this whole time. Have you seriously not eaten that sweet berry this whole time? There you go. Have you some mutton. Be savory. Okay, fine. That works too. Or is it because he's in the boat? He's pouting. <laughs> I mean... Thank you for that uh, book, by the by. 
Da jo. Toss the wool in there. Let's get a couple more picks. this stairway here. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why there's a uh, water puddle on the other side of him? To make sure he understands what will happen if he stops producing snowballs. <laughs> really? Yeah, I got frustrated because there'd be these little jumps where he would stop putting a little like snow pads down and I'd have to wait like 15 seconds and I got frustrated <laughs> and I was like gonna get a new snow golem and then he started producing them again at a standard rate and I was like okay <laughs> I'm gonna leave that puddle there just so you remember wow okay I figure if it works for Rayest it, it's a it's a valid mm -hmm. strategy uh, when you get to the bottom of that staircase hang a right and when you get to the Actual cavern, hang a left. Okay. You don't have the gear to go to the left at the bottom of the staircase. It's a water filled. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. I, I was like, so yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I got enough. I got enough lumber for a door. You're gonna love coming back up that. No, Why? It's a short little thing. It's right there. Boom. You're down. What? Oh no. I don't understand. Okay, now you're just gonna go to the uh the left. To the left? But I thought the left was kitchen. That was that's the right. You wanna go to the left. <laughs> that way. Yep. Because it dips further than that direction. And if you're lucky, <laughs> glow squid spawn that lake right there. Hmm. Nice. I'm not lucky. And no, not this time. And behind you and down is where all the yeah, right down there is where all the uh, slate is. Yeah, uh, you, you keep saying right down there about <laughs> right, right there. Literally, right there. at least on your stream where you're looking at. Right well, there. yes, but you're also looking at the stream <laughs> on a delay, so you keep saying behind you. <laughs> And I have already turned around. Oh, uh, you know. Look, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, hey, uh, good. You, you can you can validate that uh, he really is offering up all the mini blocks and oh, things. Uh, okay, yeah. Let me. Uh, I didn't even notice that uh, he popped up until I saw it on your stream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> so uh, what mini blocks is he offering up? Anything good? Medic frog head. Medic frog head. Oh, medic! Did you see the uh, the head hunter over in the caldera? Mm, no, I didn't. Okay, head oh, head there. head back to that empty space where storage was going to be. And by the by, go go nuts. Build 
build storage. Rayast built it in Season 0. I built it in Season 1. Go build it for uh, Season 3. What, Arcadius doesn't get a chance? Uh, I've seen Arcadius' <laughs> storage. No, he, Arcadius does not get a chance. <laughs> we, we'd have a bunch of random boxes strewn. It would look like a shipwreck of some sort. <laughs> I still don't see him. Well, he's somewhere within 40 blocks of you, or you wouldn't have gotten the message. No, he's no, right no, at the no. base of the tower. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the headhunter. Oh, oh. No. Back in the mountain. Oh. Yeah. Are, are we permanently moving all our operations to the village, or is this just a, or is this a temporary project? I need to know before I dig too much more of my mountain. Um, both. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, he he's back at the uh, he's back at the main. Oh, ooh, sleep. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, uh, before the stream is done, you should definitely go look, because I want to hear your laugh. Oh, I'm head over there right now. Alright, so there's the... that is the tough. Uh, I thought there was a polished tough. I know it was a while back, but I watched uh, Impulse and Skizzleman do a... Uh, they, they've apparently started an irregular series together, uh, Minecraft Except, and one of the funniest ones was Minecraft Except All the Passive Mobs Blow Up. So they're in the caves trying to get, you know, early iron and all that. And remember, bats are passive mobs. So every bat that comes by is a kamikaze creeper, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, it might have been the death of them a couple of times. There was a spider that blew up Impulse because he forgot that during the day they technically count as passive. So, you know, he was all like, oh yeah, let, let me take out the spider real quick. And, uh, so they're sitting there with a flint and steel trying to figure out if they can light the pig on fire to get the uh, cooked bacon without actually setting him off. So I, I have noticed that uh -huh. a lot of the Hermitcraft guys are starting to do their own thing now. Yeah, Hermitcraft is taking a little bit of a break to give everybody a chance to step back and breathe. Because apparently there there was a lot of uh, just everybody was feeling kind of run down. Which is why part of why they gave the last season a, quick, a quicker than anticipated ending. So they're trying to give everybody a chance to uh, recharge and prepare to go at it afresh. Uh, so the so we got headhunter and other headhunter that are dimwits. Uh, they're not dimwits. You you can trade with them. In a boat. Yep, because I didn't want them walking around and falling into a hole because villagers are idiots, man. 
and one of them surely would have walked and fallen in the hole, and I really don't want to have to go through the trouble it takes to get those guys back in the game. But yeah, I saw, uh... Oh, who was it? Um... I know Green and Scar are trying to do a hundred days in hardcore survival. <laughs> Scar? Uh, yeah, Green and Scar. I I just like oh I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I mean, you know, Scar can't even make it a hundred minutes in a regular game. <laughs> oh, sorry. A uh, uh, hundred hours. Hundred hours. Not not a hundred days. Hundred hours. But still, the point remains. Uh, I mean, I, I love the man dearly. He he makes some fantastic builds, but uh, survival is neither of their strong points. And uh, yep. So they're trying to survive a hundred hours in hardcore Minecraft. And so far, they're both alive. They both at least published an episode one. <laughs> I I want to say I want to say it was Scar's video. It could have been Green's, but I'm pretty sure it was Scar's video that the top rated comment is Doc going, "Stop jumping around! You're giving me anxiety." <laughs> Can't believe I forgot I forgot the guy's name. Oh man. Um... XP. <sighs> No. Let's see, Hermit. Hi, Jevin. Zuma. Uh, no. Perfect peoples. The Hermits. Cub fan. No. Mumbo. <laughs> no. Look, I mean, I got a one in twenty it's chance. Small. So. Iska, okay. Iska. Yeah, he's doing that modded yeah. Minecraft uh, Vault Hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to say he is one of the principals behind the Vault Hunter mod pack and all that. I wonder how my girl's doing. My, uh, my sweetie. Oh no. Who? Huh? Oh, stress. Stress. <laughs> She's supposed to be back to streaming now. I think I saw that on either uh, Twitter or Instagram. Yeah, I could. I could just. I'm. I'm sorry. I could just listen to her talk for a long time. <laughs> and Reyes gives me crap for it, but I don't care. <laughs> Okay, I did hear somebody around the corner. Well, I'm certainly finding Tuft. I, I thought this was supposed to be in small veins. I got four, almost five stacks, and I, I don't think I've hit the half of what's here. Are you I'm, planning? I thought you needed it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to find a new block. I, I want to make the floor out of some of the new blocks that are in the game. Uh, I'm not going to do the, the raw copper, copper ore like Reyes did, in part because that's already been done now. Uh, I thought the tuft polished up into something, but I don't, I don't see that as a recipe yet. Maybe, maybe I got to run it through the, the stone cutter. I'm going to be oh, mad if I collect all this tuft and it doesn't, it doesn't craft into anything. Wait, let me make sure. Yeah, tough. Nope. So I got tough right here. Go with the stone cutter and nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Let's nothing? Can, can <sighs> burn it. Nope, you can't even put it in a furnace. Man. I will find something to do with this now just because I, I went through all that trouble. <laughs> Well, if you want to see what it looks like as a floor, you can come over to the front entrance of my base. You only have to go inside. I've got down to four. No, I, I want to make sure I finish this sniper duel before he realized that we've engaged in it. <laughs> Far enough away to get that feet? No.
Not even close. I got it. Got what? That feat. Oh, the achievement? Yep. One of the first things I always get. <laughs> Uh, it's like the easiest purple you can get. I don't know. I was really surprised when I got one the other day. Which I have to open up my achievement tab. And... Yeah, I'm not in a location. Go seeing what achievements I've already managed. Oh, hello, granite. Let's not fall on the dripstone. Hello, Lapis. I'm feeling very fortunate. Yeah, let's let's make sure I don't pull a scar in <laughs> in his first hundred days of survival. Scar rushes down into the valley to get uh to get his first diamond of the game. And uh his inventory was full. <laughs> so he jumps down, goes for his diamond, and then runs out, and then he can't find where he put it later. Because he never picked it up. Oh. Because his inventory was full. <laughs> okay, you're not going to believe this. Uh-oh. So, I made a diamond pickaxe. I was going to go grab me a mending book, because I already had Silk Touch and Unbreaking 3. Okay. Uh, so, I was getting ready to go grab a mending book, and I was like, you know what? No, I, I can put mending on it later. I'm just going to go see what I can get. So, I put it in here. It showed efficiency four. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. whatever. So I uh, did efficiency four, and it gave me efficiency four, unbreaking three, and silk touch. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I just need to put mending on it. <laughs> I don't you have to use my other two books, so I've got a silk touch book if anybody needs it. Nah, I, Arcadius dropped off a silk touch book earlier. Yeah, I think I had. I think I found a, or I made one of the our guys with um, uh, silk touch. Ah, nice. Did you? I think so. I think one of our guys is silk touch. Is it me or are these veins? Yeah, these these veins are a lot bigger than they were. Because here's a ginormous granite vein too. farther in between. Yeah. Oh, for all the fancy stones? As far as I can tell, I branched mine and found barely any fancy stones. Because uh, there's a giant diorite vein, too. I don't know why you'd want it, but it's there. Yeah, uh, when you're branch mine, you got to branch mine to higher levels to get the the granite and diorite. Ah. That's why in my branch mine, I have one level for diamonds and one level for iron. Well, I'm there for the uh, redstone. So I can oh, make what the was that? Did something just fall to its death next to me? Yes. <laughs> Look, I mean, I'm not complaining about the fact that it fell to its death. Don't, you know, let, uh, let, let's not make this any... <laughs> but it's like, I, I could have sworn I just heard something. Can you re-die a candle? Uh, ooh, uh, I... Don't think so? Question mark. Oh, oh. A second. oh seriously. Yep. 
I got fortune too, and I got one raw iron out of that. I feel cheated. It's a raw deal. Yep, nope. Can't read die candles. I hear you. Oh, does, uh, when you guys were out and about, did you grab more kelp? No. Go fish. Is that something I need to go do? Well, I had... Uh, 70 or 80 kelp, I think is what it was, and... It's still not enough in to, to do my water elevator, and it's not growing. Uh, bone meal. If you bone meal kelp, it'll grow even past its uh, normal growth height. Oh, I have bone meal. Okay. Give me bone meal. Do I just bone meal the, the bottom? Yep. Just bone meal the bottom. No, no, you can keep falling. Keep falling. There. Er. I'm sorry. I'm trying to contemplate my inventory. Oh, glow squid. <laughs> oh, this might have been a bad idea. What? Oh, this might have been a really bad idea. Hey. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, this is a horrible idea. I am dead. Oh. Um. I don't believe that's how that's supposed to work. Didn't realize how deep that was. Well, uh, catch your breath and try it again. I just hope all my stuff floats to the top. It should eventually. It all floats down here. That's what it told me. How did I even get over there? Six levels I just lost. 
Oh, <laughs> like, like we don't have uh That's a lot of time at that spider farm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we do have a uh, skeleton spawner over here. Yeah, we do. And someone volunteered to make a farm for it. Yeah, thank you, medic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll be ready in another three months when I finally figure it out because of how long it took me to do the iron farm. <laughs> I could have sworn it was a non earlier, but. Huh? Okay. What? Nah. I don't mind doing the, the skeleton farm. Just, like I said, nah. Who, whoever, whoever gets to it first. Are you my waterfall? Because my inventory is full. It's hard to go collecting stuff when your inventory is full. Oh, uh, you know what's going to be nice to have again? Shulker boxes. Do we have the Ender Eyes and Blaze Powder? Uh, I thought I saw on the Discord that somebody found a Blaze Spawner. So we could have the powder. Do we want to make that uh, next Tuesday's collective uh, quest? Well, is we, we head out and somebody goes after the Ender Eyes and somebody else goes after the, uh, the Blaze. So we can uh, go searching for strongholds and such. Now that the iron farm's up, we can get, uh, you know, some iron armor going, too. Yeah. I was about to say, currently, I don't think we're geared enough, but we can give it a try. Yeah. We do have the Fletcher, which means we've got a, a good supply of arrows. Look, so. if Impulse and Skizzleman can go kill the uh, the dragon in nothing but uh, a gold chess piece and, <laughs> and a hope and a dream... Surely we can do it with iron. Ow, ow! Well, maybe, maybe not if I keep, uh... Ooh! Hey, congrats. <laughs> okay, that was kind of fun. Um... So that, that doesn't, that doesn't polish, that doesn't make stairs or slabs or, oh, man, now what am I going to do with all that? Collected a lot more of that than I realized, too. Alright, let's dump that in there for now. Yay! Yay? My bubble elevator works. Nice. Where does your, uh, where does your elevator... bubble elevator brings me back to my current level or to the to the mountain level ah um the uh way down takes me all the way down to um my diamond level ah. or iron and diamond level nice forgetting to grab shears so I got like 18 different sets of shears already built and tossed over Heather and Jan isn't it nice this early on to be able to make that many amount of shears uh 
I haven't actually gotten any of that out of the farm. It's been uh, using the fortune axe on uh, the iron. I, I'm glad the made iron actually dropped something so you could fortune it. Same with gold. And I'm copper. Just but. I'm just talking like in reference to... Uh, uh, oh, as opposed to Skyblock? Yeah. I mean, you could always work on those villagers earlier. And we should have that recipe change that lets you change a dropper into a dispenser. It does not work the other way around. That is part of the custom recipes that should be on the server in this go round. something with that the uh, the tuft and the smooth basalt what what else can I uh, what else can I mix in this because I will tell you that if you like the tuft and you end up using it I have a bunch of it that <laughs> I will probably not use really Mm -hmm. Why not? Because it's not matching the things that I'm wanting to do. Ah, okay. Oh, that's fair. All right, I need something tileable that's not a checkerboard because I keep doing the checkered because it's easy. Let's go. Instead of the smooth. Alright, it is almost time for me to call it, so I'm heading back out to the, to the yeah. farm area so I can AFK at the iron farm tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that far behind. Oh, from all the uh, jabber jabber. All the talking, yeah. Yeah, I don't miss that part of teaching. Although, I'd have thought by now you'd have uh, built up some endurance to it. find until uh, January started. Oh, 
I, I, I think that's it, all of us, on uh, on that account. Arcadius, while I'm over here, do we need stuff out there that I can bring? Uh, not that I can think of. Alright, that's got promise. Uh, I need to think of a way to expand that out and get a bigger a bigger tile, though. But that's got promise. I think I can work. I think I can work that. It actually looks pretty good. Now uh, the basalt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not giving you my basalt. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I was actually going to make another uh, basalt farm at some point. Yeah. Uh, maybe start. Maybe start with a uh, a simple manual one, and then upgrade it later on. Um, I need to find I need to find the right place to build a blast chamber, and I'm going to need a bunch of obsidian. But I've been working on that on a slow trickle, and I think maybe off the maybe off the north side somewhere. Since ow, oh, maybe I won't survive a hundred hours in uh, hardcore survival. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe in this plane off the backside of the mountain, I'll uh, build a blast chamber so that way I can uh, start feeding different farms into it. Um, have you been over to my f my mountain area lately, the where the farms and stuff are? Not lately, and I didn't know that there were farms up and running. Well, the. I'm talking about, um, like, if you need food down here. So, food and nether wart. Oh! Okay, cool. Uh, over here, we also have an automatic, uh, melon and automatic pumpkin. Ah, nice. So, carrots, wheat, um, potatoes... Uh, broccoli, no <laughs> broccoli, uh, beet. beetroot. Yeah, and then down here, if you need to, um, you just come here and fall all the way down. <laughs> I'm trusting you on this one. <laughs> okay, so if you come up here, oh, uh, I don't know if you know it, but you can waterlog a chest. And it's just deep enough, technically, that you don't uh, take fall damage. But it's so close to so close to the surface, uh, you don't have to worry about. Uh, oh, I didn't have my. I don't have my fortune axe on me. Nice. This is the uh, the iron level. So this <laughs> is the perfect level for iron mining. I hear somebody in the walls too. Yeah, there's some places that aren't lit. Oh, that was that was not a good jump. But uh, you're more than welcome to use these for okay. iron mining. I've only been going west. I haven't been going any other direction. Well, I what I might do is I might harvest the uh, crystals and then uh, and then AFK there. For them to grow back, and so I can start making some tinted glass. This way. This way to Goblin Town. This is diamond level. And again, I've only been mining west. Yeah. Um. So. I've got to post a link. I think it was Ray's Works actually has where the optimal level for each mineral and ore is. Well, I went and looked, and negative fifty nine was diamond. That's where that's at. Yeah. And the uh, the one for the iron is where it's at over here. Yeah, but those stairs do blend more, in. You're more than welcome to use that at any time. Okay. And over here, nope, nope, oh. nope. Water elevator. <laughs> That's the water elevator I've been working on. 
Nice. Come back around here, it, and there you go. Ah. But you are more than welcome to anything in here that you need. Okay. Sweet. Same thing with the stuff that's in my chest, because I don't, I don't have any personal stuff. You see what I was doing with the mithril when we were talking about mithril? Okay, so you're using what the blue dye and the glow ink? Light blue and glow ink, yeah. Light blue. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I need to go spend a little more time in the nether picking up uh, some of the stuff, too. Yeah, the I... only thing I ask that you leave if you take stuff out of here is my glowing. Oh, yeah, no. That's I, I, that I, my blue orchids, because that's what I need to make that, and I need a lot. Um, yeah, we, we definitely need to go get some blaze because once you get the clerics, you can use the clerics to get lapis and between that and bone meal from somewhere, you can have all the blue dye and then some for less work, less effort than uh, the orchids. Oh, by the by, if you end up uh, back out at the swamp to get more of those orchids, could you please bring the other fox over? Yeah. Because uh, I, I only got the first the first guy. I need to go bring his partner in crime. Is he still out there? Yeah, he's still out there in a boat. Okay. The the turtle was very kind to move after I uh, <clears throat> nudged him. <laughs> so, what did you think of the uh, the other headhunters trades? Yeah. That was pretty funny, considering the fact that we always have seven. Of those. <laughs> I, mean, I, I was, you know, I, I was trying to. Uh, we we seem to always end up with a bunch of those. It does make me want to uh, purchase some from them, though. Uh, what? Purchase? Oh. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't sell them. He only buys them. Oh, that's even funnier. Yeah, so he'll buy the wandering trader heads for an emerald. Same for the trader llamas. Nice. The headhunter sells the player heads and the uh, gems. But the other headhunter buys the wandering trader heads. That is nice. Because I, I, I noticed that every time we play, we seem to accumulate a whole bunch of them. And I don't, I don't know why. To know, I mean, yeah, I know. I, they leave them all over the place. It's weird. Uh, and so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm still waiting for people to download season one and. Uh, oh, find all your. Uh, find all the heads I hid. I thought that went down to, uh, or is that the other shaft? That must have been the other one. Oh, that's right. I went to go get some andesite. That's why I was here. I was like, I came down here for a reason. last time I looked. Yeah, we definitely seem to be getting those earlier and earlier, and I am not complaining. <laughs> uh, Arcadius, have you been taking iron out? I didn't take iron. I took the roses out. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing very well at all. Well, you've only got three villagers in there, so that's going to work half as well as the one that we had in Season 1. Uh, to do that, you'd have to have a second trio of villagers, a certain number of blocks in the opposite direction, so that way they don't technically join together as a village. 
Um, the the exact numbers escape me uh, at the moment. There's no more roses. That's I left one in there. But yeah, it, it hasn't produced anything. Working. The zombie didn't despawn, did he? No, I can I hear, hear him. him. Okay. And you don't hear the, uh, the, the... I hear them moving around, too. I think what I need to do is just create a freaking daylight sensor with some pistons in there, and then every time the light triggers or something, it, it'll move it up for a second to block line of sight. Put that fireplace there. If what? A gate. Oh. Um, a gate will not break line of sight if it's open. No, a gate will break line of sight. There. Maybe now I'll stop burning myself on this stupid fire. Remember there being any any uh, changes that would affect that? He's scaring them, but break line of sight. Now they're no longer scared. Hey, hi, how are you? Doing good. Now let's bust that block. That's scary again. Slate tiles for the wainscoting. And now it works. All I did was 
let them lay down a little bit. Well, I mean, they're tired. Their life is hard. This makes me wonder, you know, if that's the way it's supposed to be now. Uh... There's something we're missing, but uh, I can't I can't think of what it is at the moment. Well, maybe I'll go back to the drawing board and figure out. No, I, I made the promise that if it didn't work this time, that I was just going to make one of the Psycraft Ultra <laughs> day on arms that is guaranteed to work but takes 20 years to make ah uh, no nah, go go do that go do that one that uh that it didn't sky well no because that that one's gonna yeah go do that one that i did in skyblock that came off of uh avamance's just know that you're gonna have to make a couple of slight modifications to make it worthwhile well, the the one I made in Skyblock, I tried to do here, didn't work. Yeah, it worked perfectly for me in Skyblock. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. At least I know now that all I gotta do is just love to sleep a little bit, and it'll work for it now. But anyways, I am getting off of here. All right, I keep saying I'm about to go go to bed myself, but uh, then I, then I keep messing with flooring and stuff. By the way, uh, so we were talking earlier about uh, Microsoft and uh, Blizzard, and I had mentioned Asmongold. Yeah, I saw that Asmongold had had released a video about what he thinks about it. Oh, really? So I listened to a little bit. Yeah, I listened to a little bit, and it's very funny how you put it. He said, you know, that he likens it to, uh, you know, rolling a D20. He <laughs> said, if, you're nor if you normally are used to rolling threes and fours, uh, then, you know, w which is what Bl Activision Blizzard is, is, you know, is guaranteed a mark roll uh, for World of Warcraft. <laughs> hey, hey, no. Hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, but he was like, uh, he was like, hey, if, uh, you know, you're used to rolling threes and fours and it doesn't matter, you know, whether or not you got bad rolls, uh, you know, you're going to re-roll that D20. And that's exactly what this is, is, you know, Microsoft might not be too great for World of Warcraft, but I guarantee it's probably going to be better than <laughs> the, the, the Blizzard rolls we've been getting. Wow. Anyways, I'm out of here. Y'all have fun. All right. Good, Good night, night, man. Later. Yeah, I just realized this quarter after nine. I, I need to. I really need to call it. I'm gonna keep playing with some of the. I I like using the basalt and the tuft, uh, and maybe maybe even the smooth basalt. So that's not bad. But I wanna. I really want to crank up the complexity in the tiles a little bit so I might do something like this guy here uh, I got nothing to fill her up with so I might do something like that that way I can work in a little bit of the tuft or the andesite or I might swap that out so it's the andesite in the middle and the tuft in the four corners around the side I'm going to try that right now. I know basalt is going to be easy enough to come by. Uh, apparently, if you spend enough time in the mines, you, you'll get enough... Uh... Ooh. Or, since I'm going to need lighting in the floor anyway, do that and then put, uh, put glowstone or a shroom light in the middle. Yeah, I might do that. 
it'll be over lit as all get out, but uh, I like that idea, and I'll, I'll try a shroom light in the middle there. I'm going to have to go harvest a bunch of shroom lights, aren't I? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right. I, I, I guess that's what I'm doing <laughs> between now and Tuesday. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Harvesting Shroom Lights with the Non-Junior. Uh, oh, I'm going to need to grab some uh, silk. I'm going to have to put Silk Touch on my lone diamond pickaxe so I can get some of the, uh, the whatchamacallit, to grow, to grow it on. Because I'm not standing around the nether doing that. Uh-uh. That's how you end up making sad things happen. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that a little bit better. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's my winner. Yeah, that's my winner. Okay. I'll leave that up though, just just in case. And uh, I'll spend my <laughs> spend my time shuffling lava buckets around. Well, I thought I had something that was waiting to cook. No. Okay. Apparently not. And my buttons still are not working, so let's do this. Uh, where's my credits? There's my credits. All right, thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is Coffee Craft. And Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is something. <laughs> it's been uh, It's been my guitar build project for the last little while. Uh my Christmas present is now done this 18th of January. Uh, <laughs> and I'll be sending that out uh, a little bit later. Probably probably Wednesday or Thursday. Um, probably Thursday. So that way I got time to pack it up good for its trip. Um, and then... I need to get Games Revisited going again. That That is a project that I deeply miss. Uh, I would like to finish up the Zelda series so that way I don't have an unfinished series and I gotta get, because the lights and stuff, I I gotta figure out, make sure I didn't break the, uh, the controller mapping while I was doing all that. Uh, obviously, the tired is real. So... Let's go see who is available to raid. We've got Grimly playing Infinifactory. All right, so I'm going to hit the title card, and then we'll start the raid. Stick around for that. Have fun, and I will see you Friday.